In the previous module, we talked about the degree of connectivity to a given node in a network, and this leads us to the broader concept of centrality. Centrality is really a measure that tells us how influential or significant a node is within the overall network. This concept of significance will have different meanings depending on the type of network we are analyzing. So in some ways, centrality indices are asking the question, what characterizes an important node? From this measurement of centrality, we can get some idea of the node's importance within the overall network. The degree of a node's connectivity that we previously looked at is probably the simplest and most basic measure of centrality. We can measure the degree of a node by looking at the total number of other nodes it's connected to versus the total that it could possibly be connected to. But this measurement of degree only really captures what is happening locally around the node. It doesn't really tell us where the node lies in the network, which is needed to get a proper understanding of its overall degree centrality and influence. This concept of centrality is quite a bit more complex than that of degree and may often depend on the context, but we will be presenting some of the most important parameters for trying to capture the significance of any given node in a network. The significance of a node can be thought of in two ways. Firstly, how much of the network's resources flow through this node? And secondly, how critical is the node to that flow? As in, can it be replaced? So a bridge within a national transportation network may be very significant because it carries a very large percentage of the traffic, or because it's the only bridge between two important locations. So this helps us to understand significance on a conceptual level, but we need to define some concrete parameters to capture and quantify this intuition. We will present four of the most significant metrics for doing this here. Firstly, as we've already discussed, a node's degree of connectivity is a primary metric that defines its degree of significance within its local environment. Secondly, we have what is called closeness centrality measures that try to capture how close a node is to any other node in the network. That is, how quickly or easily can the node reach other nodes in the network? Betweenness is a third metric that we might use, which is trying to capture the node's role as a connector or bridge between other groups of nodes. Lastly, we have prestige measurements that are trying to describe how significant you are based upon the significance of the nodes you are connected to. Again, which one of these works best will depend on the context. So to talk about closeness then, closeness may be defined as the reciprocal of farness, where the farness of a given node is defined as the sum of its distance to all other nodes. Thus, the more central a node is, the lower its total distance to all other nodes. Closeness can be regarded as a measure of how long it will take to spread something such as information from the node of interest to all other nodes sequentially. We can understand how this correlates to the node's significance in that it is a measure of the node's capacity to affect all the other nodes in the network. Betweenness, as mentioned, is really talking about how critical a node is to a network in its functioning as a bridging point between other nodes in the network. Betweenness centrality quantifies the number of times a node acts as a bridge along the shortest path between two other nodes. In this formulation, vertices that have a high probability of occurring on a randomly chosen shortest path between two vertices have a high betweenness value. Our last measure is trying to capture how connected the nodes that a given node is connected to are. So instead of looking at the amount of connections that you have, it is more interested in the value of those connections. One way of capturing this is called eigenvector centrality. Eigenvector centrality assigns relative scores to all nodes in the network based on the concept that connections to highly connected nodes contribute more than connections to nodes with low degrees of connectivity. Eigenvector centrality is one measure used by web search engines to try and rank the relative importance of a website by looking at the importance of the websites that link into it. So now that we have a basic understanding of the different metrics for talking about a node centrality within a network, we can take a look at a graph and see how each represents a different perspective and set of results to this question. Here is the same set of networks. 
with node ranking depicted in colors dark blue for a low ranking through to red with a high ranking. We can note how the color changes around the network for each set of metrics we're applying, thus indicating the different information that our different metrics are capturing. And from this, we can see the degree of relativity in trying to capture a node's degree of centrality.